the intense face on London is awesome right now. You know, both of these girls are coming in here to, to bring this title home. Nancy immediately landing shots and pushing London up against the cage, looking to make a statement early. Now I'm curious to see if London has improved her ground game since her last fight. I would think this is where Nancy's advantage would be, is here up close or on the ground with London being so tall. Nancy's doing a good job of here of just pressuring her in with that hip and keeping London pressed up against the cage. Can Nancy get this fight to the ground and start to smash London Debrell? We will see, but London doing a great job at really shutting down the offense of Nancy early on in this fight. Nancy's got to land something here and not just hold London against the cage here. The ref is going to kind of put him back to the middle. Beautiful head pressure by Nancy, really controlling London and keeping her put, not allowing her to circle out. But as you mentioned, she's got to really start to work here. London's got to dig an underhook here. I think that would help her get off the cage a lot. She has the overhook, but it's not really doing much to separate from Nancy's hold. Here, as she digs the underhook and turns her off, but Nancy's able to power through and put London back on the cage. Less than a minute to go here. Yeah, we've really got to see some action here or the ref will separate these ladies and put them back out to the center of the cage. Yeah, Nancy needs to be transitioning to takedowns if she's not going to strike here up against the cage. She's looking to reap those legs of London. I mean, London has just really shut down every piece of offense that Nancy has thrown at her, but Nancy's got to start mixing things up if she wants to put a statement on her performance tonight. And, I mean, we have five rounds to go, so maybe they're saving their energy just a little bit here. Round one is in the books of this championship bout. London, Debrell, Nancy, Ramirez, Montana, walk us through what we saw in the first round. Yeah, I mean, it was just Nancy kind of pressuring London up against the cage. I think that's where she's going to want to be this whole fight is probably coming in for takedowns and just negating London's strikes because London is so fit, vicious on her feet. Very surprised at the takedown defense of London DeBrell. As you mentioned, the question was, has she improved her ground game since her last out. If she hasn't, she's definitely worked on her takedown defense. Yeah, yeah. You know, Nancy does have to chain some takedowns together because just pressuring up in the cage isn't going to happen for the entire fight. Both girls seem fresh coming into the second round. And as you mentioned, this being a championship bout, we are set for five three-minute rounds as this is an amateur bout. Yeah, as Nancy being the shorter fighter, she's probably going to lunge in with a lot of overhands here to connect with London. London's just got to be careful with um, going straight back or giving Nancy any takedowns. And Nancy's got to be careful standing on the outside of a fighter's range like London Debrell, who obviously has right. a significant height and reach advantage. Yeah. If she lands one of those kicks, 
It could be a short night. Nice level changes from Nancy as she's circling away from London's power side. Both ladies just really feeling each other out here as we get set for our five fight championship bout of the evening. Three more follow this championship bout. London Debrell, Nancy Ramirez. Beautiful check hook by Nancy. Beautiful overhand by Nancy as well. And London fires back with some shots of her own. Beautiful outside kick by Nancy. Well, Nancy's starting to get some better movement here now and find herself on the outside. I'm really loving the head movement, side to side, in and out. Wow, that knee almost landed from London. Beautiful outside leg kick. And Nancy has really improved her striking. Her head movement looks phenomenal. She definitely prepared for this bout. Definitely. Nancy looks for yep. the takedown and abandons it, immediately throws the overhand right. And Nancy pushes London up against the cage once again here with a few seconds to go. Great reversal by London. Much of the same from round two. Both ladies feeling each other out. Landing some beautiful outside kicks as well as Nancy Ramirez looking for the takedown. And here we see Nancy landing that beautiful outside leg kick. Yeah, followed yeah. up by London's one, two, and just barely misses with that three. Yeah, Nancy seemed a lot more composed and on her feet in this round instead of kind of just pushing London up against the cage. As we see here, she looks to get the takedown again and put a stamp on the end of that round. Both ladies look fresh as we head into the third round of this title fight. Pushes London up against the cage once again here. But London has those underhooks and is able to land some clinch. Please. Nancy's got to be careful here because she is telegraphing those shots yeah. so much that London is just continuing to throw knees and land vicious strikes when she's coming in like that. That kind of bulldog approach of coming in is something that you see a lot from young fighters. Right. And I'm surprised actually that we saw that from Nancy just because of how great her head movement and footwork looked. Mm -hmm. I think Nancy just really thinks she has the advantage against London here, just doing whatever it takes to push London up against the cage, kind of immobilizing her so London isn't able to land those huge strikes from the outside. Trying to make this a gruesome fight in the dirty boxing world is Nancy Ramirez, but London doing a great job of trying to circle out and land damage with those nasty knees. Yeah, I would say London's landing a lot more here, even though she is pushed up against the cage. Nancy really has to start transitioning to things or at least throwing some short knees, some foot stomps, just kind of anything here.
Oh, those knees. That one got the liver, I think, of Nancy. Those will certainly pay dividends as we start to head into the championship rounds. More knees by London over and over again. She's controlling the wrist of Nancy. Beautiful Muay Thai clinch work by London Debrell fighting out of fight -teria, so you know she's got significant Muay Thai skills if she can keep this fight standing versus the champ. Beautiful teeth by London. Now London is pressing Nancy backwards just a little bit up against the cage. Seems like Nancy's losing a little bit of steam off those punches. Swinging for the fences and just misses is Nancy Ramirez. And as you mentioned, London DeBrell seems to be the fresher fighter yeah. as we head into the championship rounds. Yeah, she's starting to gain a little bit more momentum here as the rounds go on. As we take a look at the replay here, it's Nancy Ramirez pushing London again up against the cage, trying to do what she can to land some damage, but London just doing a phenomenal job in that round at immobilizing Nancy and landing some vicious knees to the body. Yeah, she really found her range in the clinch there, throwing those knees. I think it kind of wore out Nancy a little bit with those knees to the liver thrown by London. Championship rounds, who will come out as the undisputed champ? We will find out. Beautiful straight punches landed by London. And Nancy really pushing London up against the cage here. Once again. But as we talked about, London not doing that lateral movement side to yeah. side, causing her to be pushed up against the cage as she's just moving backwards. Yeah, and you never know how the judges are gonna be scoring these rounds, even though Nancy isn't landing very much damage here. It is control time against when London has her back up against the cage. awareness in the space by London. Beautiful shot there to the body by the challenger. Nancy's still landing those hard outside low kicks, but it's not really phasing London. I would really love to see London start to pressure Nancy and turn up the pace right. as she sees the champ start to fade late in these rounds. Yeah, she's definitely starting to fade. Oh, beautiful back fist by Nancy there. And, and again, again, and that one lands. that landed twice, I'm curious to see if she goes right back to it. <laughs> Nancy
defense is doing a better job here at the end of the round, finding her range and not getting hit as much. The champ looks to have caught a second win as we head into the fifth and final round. And I would say this is anybody's fight at this point. Absolutely, it could go either way depending on who puts a stamp at the, at the end of this round, in this final fifth round. This may very well be the round that decides the fate of the flyweight division. And here we see again, relentless pressure from the champ, pushing the challenger up against the cage and looking to make a statement in this fight. And landing two beautiful spinning back fists, one that lands absolutely viciously. Yeah, those were nicely timed by Nancy. Championship gold is on the line. Both girls are wasting no time. What an exchange by both ladies there looking to finish this fight. Seems as though both coaches let these ladies know that it's anyone's fight. London's really finding her timing and her range here. Beautiful body shot by Nancy. Can one of these ladies make a statement with just under two minutes to go in the final round? Oh, that and just lands. missing yeah. with that nasty question mark kick is London DeBrell. Nancy's really trying to pressure London against the cage here again. And London pushes her away and lands a few knees of her own. Ooh, devastating knee right there. London's got to circle off the cage and get this fight back to the center if she wants a shot at being crowned the new queen. But the champ is doing a phenomenal and, job. Yeah, London has the underhooks right here and she's able to push off and land some huge hooks. And just as I say that, London comes back firing and putting the pressure on the champ. Nancy tries the spinning back fist again. London is really putting the pace on Nancy. Oh, Nancy Ramirez! Oh, Nancy tries to come for the takedown right here, but London defends it. Back up to the cage with 10 seconds to go. What a way to end the fight for what both ladies. What a fight!
foul. Moreno, 48 to 47, Ramirez. Judge Ruben Corleone scores the foul, 49 to 46, DeBrand. And Judge Ringside, next up, Zimbabwe, scores the foul, 48 to 47, and for your winner, and still!